Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to record locally within either a live class or a live webinar. Now, it's really, really important before we get going. It's a really, really strict caveat here to emphasize. For now, you can only record locally. You cannot record to the cloud. If you try and record to the cloud, it won't work. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is to be taking you through step by step um, how I would do it. Now, it's fair to say within our own uh, computers, our laptops, our PCs, our Macs, whatever we may be using, we all organize things very, very different. Some are incredibly organized and some aren't so organized. So I'm just going to show you a concept, if you like, of how I would do it. Now, as always, I would suggest for you to, of course, test test and do some more testing um, set up your own local file to record all of your webinars or classes rename it set up a nice little home for it where you know where they're always going to be stored and they're really really easy to access so by now i'm going to assume that you know how to set up a live class or and or a live webinar so i've already done it you see i've just set it up to start in a few minutes uh, i've given it a name and a description and an image uh, it's all updated and I'm going to kick it off straight away. So I'm going to start the live class and as always it will kick in. It will start up and download what needs to be downloaded. So make sure you've got the latest versions uh, already on your system. It will kick on straight away with the camera. I will be turning the camera off and I'm also going to put mine on mute just so it doesn't interfere with this recording. Um, but it isn't necessarily something that you would do. Okay, so camera off, and for now, turn the audio off, turn your computer audio. Okay, so here we are, we've started our um, live class, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight to record. You see the button down here? I'll also highlight it on the editing. I'm gonna press on the record button, and we've got two options here, okay? We've got record on this computer, which is locally, another term for locally, or record to the cloud. You must ignore the record to the cloud, okay? So what you wanna be doing is going to record on this computer. As it is, I've set everything up just as a normal default. Um, and for the sake of this, I'll just record without audio, which isn't something you would do. But what you will get in essence is you will get two different recordings, okay? You will get an MP4 recording, which will be um, uh, the video and the presentation itself and the sound, and you'll also get the audio, okay? Now the audio recording will be really useful if you're doing podcasts, as an example, okay? So as you'll see up here, we're currently recording. So this is recording locally to my computer, to my iMac here. We have the option to pause and we have the option here to stop. And of course, we can turn on the video and we have the mute here as always. Now, when we stop the recording, it won't convert onto our local file until we end the meeting, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop the recording and as you'll see here, the record, uh, recorded file will be converted to an MP4 when the meeting ends. Let's just move this down a bit to make sure you can see it all. So I'm now going to end the meeting and I'm going to end the meeting for all. Okay, so what I would do now, because this isn't necessarily the way that it works for me, the most fluid or efficient way of doing it. So I'm going to do a search and I'm going to do a search for Zoom. Okay, so you see here, straight away, it says waiting to upload. So I'm going to double click here to convert it. And what will happen now is it will show the conversion taking place. There you go. So that's now converting the meeting recording. And it's saved. It's saved to my specific Zoom file. Um, you can build your own files, you can be as organized as you like, um, rename them, have, have your own little home for them if you like, and save that. So you'll see here, we've got the Zoom audio file. If I press that, and it will play the Zoom that just took place with no sound, but I'll show you the 
part, there you go, where I came on camera. So that for me is how I would do a local recording on either a, a Zoom, uh, either a live class or a live webinar. Okay, so you must remember to record locally to your computer, set up your own file, rename it, have its own little home on your desktop or within one of your files, have it maybe organized for the dates of whenever the meeting or webinar took place. But again, test, 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 and, um, and yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out exactly how it works most efficiently for you.